that shit beeping, laundry in the background, microwaves. <laughs> What is going on YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Random, and welcome back to another episode of Panther Talk. And the topic of discussion today, guys, is gonna be the infamous GT body kit for the Ford Crown Victoria. Yep, we got a body kit, boys. Now, I have but one simple question for you guys. And that is, is this the most ricer thing you can do to a Crown Victoria? Let's discuss it in today's episode of Panther Talk. Originally developed for the 2004 movie starring Queen Latifah called Taxi, the body kit, simply known as the GT body kit, later became available to the general public across the world. As many of you might remember, the mid-2000s were the height of the Fast and Furious movies, which meant body kits were all the rage. Everyone from Mitsubishi Eclipses to your freaking mom's minivans had a body kit. And yes, that even included our beloved Crown Vicks. You guys remember those embarrassing 70s and 80s pictures your parents had back in the day? Well, this body kit is the equivalent to that. <laughs> there you go. Uh, take a good, hard, long look at your fierce Crown Vic during the Fast and Furious era. The GT body kit can be found almost anywhere, and it's still available today, believe it or not. With many websites like eBay still selling the complete kit for right around 900 bucks after taxes. The kit includes a front bumper with that oh-so-sweet chicken-wired fog lights along with a sweet-looking chin spoiler, also some side skirts, a rear bumper, a rear wing, and the cherry on top, a non-functional hood scoop. Now, I'm not going to lie, in my earlier years, I actually did consider installing this body kit on one of my many Crown Vicks that I've had throughout the years. But somehow, even for a guy who's owned and currently owns cars that look like this. Real quick, before it starts raining even harder, these were the Gatling guns that I was talking about. I had kind of preset them. There's the other one right there. But there we go. This is gonna be the final product. There it is. Barricade Mustang over. Now, some versions feature a low-profile duck bill style wing, similar to a Marauder wing, which seems to flow a bit better with the rear bumper. The other option, which is a weird-looking Honda Civic style wing, just doesn't do it for me. Next up is the side skirts, which wouldn't have been so bad if they weren't so damn boxy. In my opinion, this whole body kit would benefit greatly from a 2-inch suspension drop at least. There's just something off about this front bumper design. Maybe, just maybe, if the car were lowered and widened enough, maybe even with some fender flares, it might have looked better. But with that giant gaping chicken wired filled front opening paired up with the long and narrow dimensions of the Crown Vic, it just doesn't look right. Wow. <laughs> I just realized I used the words giant, gaping, front opening, and long and narrow in the same <laughs> in the same sentence. <laughs> I never actually did consider 
slamming and widening, widening, widening a uh, Crown Vic prior to installing the body kit. Damn, that might not actually be a bad thing. Hmm. Now, this isn't just any... Yeah, exactly. Now, this isn't just a regular old podcast. This is Panther Talk. This is Mr. Random we're talking about. I do house chores and handyman stuff while podcasting at the same time. So, I'm going to have you guys uh, come along with me and join me here. Now, um, what, was that being too harsh on that, uh, on that body kit? What do you guys think? Is it too much of a ricer thing? Like I said, maybe whitening it a little bit and slamming the hell out of it. Definitely with a duckbill uh, spoiler. Some really wide uh, rims or some wide lips. Hold on here, guys. I gotta focus. This is a millennial uh, handyman going to work. What the hell are these? Here we go. Here we go. And I said, Give on, boom, now. I said, Give on, boom, now. So let me know. Wait, is this good enough? That's pretty. I gotta get another screw. Wait right there. All right, Winnie. All right, this way, buddy. Let's get. Let's, we're podcasting here, guys. We're pod. Focus. We're podcasting here. You know, I'm curious. I wonder how many people after watching this video are gonna go. I wonder how many people are actually going to consider buying a GT body kit. Ironically enough, and actually sadly enough, it's the only body kit out there for the Crown Victoria. That's crazy. That's the only choice we have. Oh, oh. oh embarrassing. Look at that. <laughs> embarrassing. I'm okay. I'm good. I'm <laughs> podcasting here. <laughs> Yeah, let, let's walk. let's move things back to the table. These these you can't do anything with these damn kids. And so I want to know what do you guys think? Uh, is the GT body kit for the Crown Vic rice? or nice let me know in the comments section down below also guys near the description of the video man don't forget to check out and maybe get yourself some uh, panther platform t-shirts and show your boys some support and show some love for the panther platform after all we're a small community and we got to look after each other guys we got to represent and we do represent pretty damn good actually either way it's your boy Mr. Random and this has been another episode of Panther Talk make sure you guys stay tuned for the next episode and no I can't promise you that I'm wearing any pants uh <laughs> anyways <laughs>